Hey guys, so this is a video showing the different paint techniques that I've been using with uh, using the masking and spray paint. So first things first, I use a brayer to apply my masking. This board is pre-painted white, it's called Bone. It has very good coverage. Probably shouldn't peel this up, but you can't really see any, you can't see any of the wood underneath. So that's, that is important. We're going to make sure it is really tight on the board. Uh, and then we are going to load it in the Glowforge and um, cut the ornaments that I posted on the Facebook VIP page this week. Um, so we can de demonstrate uh, double line and single line score. So let's go load that up and get them cut. Um, so we are going to go ahead and we are going to score the ornaments. We are going to, let's see here, that is cutting this outer ring. So we're going to cut that. I always dial this down to 160 because I'm using Pure Bond from Home Depot. This is the little tiny holes up here. So we're going to cut those again at 160. This is the inner ring and holes for the rings that go on top of the ornament. We'll cut those at 160. And then we are doing the outer rings. We're going to cut at 160. So let's go ahead and we're gonna set our focus and we will go in print in just a second. Okay, so here's uh, our cut pieces. We've got single line score and double line score. So double line score looks a lot like maybe grout lines on a tile or stained glass. Uh, single line score, the pattern is just one line. Um, still very pretty. They both have their benefits. For the single line score, you could just weed this and have a pattern, a pretty pattern. Let me see if I have an example. So here is the single line score, weeded, painted white, um, uh, you know, no, nothing, no additional paint or anything. It's pretty, it, it you know, it's more simple, but it um, has, its, uh, has its place in the design world. Um, so that's that. So with these, we are going to do something a little different. Um, we are going to remove masking in certain places um, to create a different effect. And a lot of people call this weeding. This is a term from, um, you know, the vinyl uh, cutters of the world, cricket, silhouette, that sort of thing. So uh, let's go ahead and do the double line score first. So... I am going to remove this, uh, this channel all the way through the piece. Um, you can use Gorilla Tape for this process, but uh, I'm using a weeding tool from Cricut. And we're just going to carefully remove it all. We've got these corners to remove. That's my dog eating wood off the ground. One more side. You want to be careful when you do this. You don't want to remove the paint underneath. So you want to be gentle. And then we've got this little bit right here. Did I get it? Oh, there it goes. Okay, so that's weeded. 
It's hard to tell, but so all the channel is removed. Okay, now for this piece, we're gonna remove big sections and we're gonna make it look more like a quilt. So um, this I'm gonna use my tape, I think. So I'll grab my Gorilla Tape. Gorilla Tape, oop, stuck, Gorilla Tape. And let's go ahead and let's see here. Um, we wanna alternate what squares or shapes we remove. So, oops, I just grabbed them both, darn it. Well, it's okay, you just push it down. So we're gonna remove that one. And we're gonna remove this one. And this one, this one, so let's do these two right here. Just grab them both in the center, see if we can get them both at once, yep. And then, so we're gonna mirror that, do that over here. So since we did those two, we removed this one, let's remove these two here. Again, we're alternating. That's part of what makes quilts look so cool, right? So we just removed those two, so we're gonna remove these two here maybe that piece of the tape is done oh it does not want to come off there wowza there it goes My Lord, it's like the masking that never wants to leave. Okay, there we go. All right. And we should probably just do these little bits on the ends. I got both of those that time. These two right here. I get out my tool. Yep. That two more. So now we're weeded. Okay, so now we're gonna try a new step. Um, I just learned about this uh, from another group and I had never heard of this before, so we're gonna try it. Um, to keep the, the paint from seeping, um, you can cover your project at this point with a clear like Mod Podge or spray. I have this um, shellac that I'm gonna try uh, because it dries so fast. So we're going to just lightly coat um, the ornaments with this and let it dry before we apply our paint. Okay. We're gonna let that dry and we'll come back to the project in a little bit. Okay, so we've let it dry. It's shellac, so it does still look shiny. But the idea is that 
we have sealed the wood so that it won't seep when we spray paint it. So um, let me grab, I'm gonna use these two colors. We're gonna do brick and reed. It's Montana Gold. When you buy Montana Gold spray paint, it does not have a cap or it does not have a lid. Um, they actually ship with no lid. I can't get this off. My hands are slippery. Let's try this one so I can show you. Oh my gosh. Okay. So when they ship, they actually have this black ring inside and that's so that this can't be pushed down. So you have to remove that. And then you also need to give it a good shake, um, for about two minutes the first time you use it. So just shake and shake. I'm gonna do this one in green. I'm gonna do the other one in red. All right, okay. So we're just gonna do a quick coat of green over the top. If you go top down, you won't get paint on the edges, which is, I'm really loving the spray paint for that reason. Oh, it splattered a little bit. That's okay though, because this will, um, dry very, very even. Uh, another reason why I love this spray paint. So that one's done. We'll go ahead and move it out of the way. Other thing that's cool is you can buy, um, actually, let me grab it so you can see it. You can buy acetone. Um, all the caps for Montana Gold um, are removable and can be changed out for all these different sizes. So you can do a wide or a narrow. These are actually graffiti paint, um, artist paints. Uh, and so that's part of the reason why I think this is so cool. I can really change up, you know, what I use. And I, I'm just now starting to experiment. Um, but this acetone, you can put any of your caps on this um, acetone and then spray it and it will clean out your cap for you, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and do the other ornament real quick. Um, we'll have to place it uh, kind of over to the side so I don't get green on the back. Um, and we're going to do this one in red. Okay, that one's done. So we're going to let this dry. And uh, we'll be back in a bit to remove the mask. Okay, moment of truth. See how the shellac did. Um, again, I've never done this before, so uh, it, this could go horribly wrong. But let's see. Oh. Perfect. Wow. I feel like the masking even is coming up easier, which is weird. I don't... Let's remove the other one. Uh-oh. No, it's on there. Oh, I love this green. The 
did I miss? These. Wow. What do you think? I think that's uh, mission accomplished right there. Perfect lines, right? So here I wanted to show an example real quick. This is a failed attempt. The reason why it bled is because the wood was not totally sealed. So I didn't get a good application of paint on my base. Uh, and so all the paint that I sprayed on was able to seep into the base layer. So you really wanna make sure when you're doing this type of project that your base layer is a nice, good coat of paint. Um, and you can uh, use the additional shellac technique um, to help with the bleed if you, um, if you desire. I, I'm pretty impressed, I'm, I'm excited about it. So uh, that's it. And I hope you found value in this, um, in this video. Let me see, where's my other one? Oh, here we go. So one design, three different looks. We can add our ring. Look how cute that is. Add our little M. So thanks again for watching and uh, let me know if you have questions.